Charlie Ruff all making their way over here. Rolled backwards to Ochien. Lofted forwards, looking for Lodovica, and initially he hauls down Oscar Goban to give Hamilton Waterlooville an early free kick in this one. Cleaning up his Vaz, and not once but twice Edwino Vaz makes the challenge. And now Chelmsford City can break on the far right-hand side. Bringing it forward is Jackson. He's going to run at Joe Newton, squared into the area. Lodovica was waiting. Back out to Jackson. He's going to try and lob Warner. And Warner has to make a scrambling save to palm it away from his own goal line and out behind Chelmsford City corner. Headed out of play, Thrones taken quickly to Billy Clifford, back to Newton, left wing, looking for a cross. Chips one up towards James Roberts. Roberts here, back across goal, straight into the arms of Jacob Marsden. Danny Wright lays off to James Roberts on the right wing. Roberts just cutting in on that left boot, back to right, good football. Back to James Roberts, 20 yards from goal, on his left foot, driven towards goal. And just driven wide of the post, never really had the power to trouble Jacob Marsden. 22 yards out, Joe Newton trying to curl one in on his left boot. It's Newton, he's gone for the shot himself and he's drilled it over the bar and into the stand behind the goal. Chelmsford took the lead through Simeon Jackson, but then Jake McCarthy came up with a hat-trick in the second half, a 20-minute hat-trick or something of that amount. And he was able to drag the Hawks back at it. Here's Jake McCarthy again, lining up a shot from 22 yards and forcing a good save to the right from Jacob Marsden. And Adam, is there anything more Jake McCarthy than that? A message from Adam about the scores around the National League South in the opening 25 minutes or so. But right now, Joe Newton's bringing it into opposition territory. Still going, Joe Newton, driven past his man in the area. Surely a penalty for Hamilton Waterlooville. And Joe Newton has single-handedly driven the Hawks up the pitch from left back and gone over a challenge and has won the Hawks a penalty. It's James Roberts. It's 1-0 Hamilton Waterlooville. Cooley passed into the bottom right-hand corner and the Hawks have a lead away from home. But the Hawks have given possession back to the Clarets and Jacob Marsden can pick it up on the edge of his own 18-yard box. Hawks fans in fine voice to our right. As I mentioned, the grey skies here over the Melbourne Community Stadium. It's a good-looking ball fight. Simeon Jackson in the area, flushed across goal. Lodovica's waiting, equaliser for Chelmsford City. Well, it was one ball from the keeper over the top of the Hawks' back line. Simeon Jackson ran onto it in the left-hand side of the area, laid it back across goal, and Lodovica at the back post hammered it past Ross Warner. And you can see why they fought so hard to do that as he drifts the ball towards the back corner. Jake McCarthy's going to run onto it and hit it on the full volley off the roof of the stand behind the goal, but in swinging corner kick to come in from Joe Newton. Short he goes to James Roberts. Roberts is caught across towards Joe Osler. Osler loops one over the top of Marsden and into the far corner. A cultured finish from the Hawks centre back. Seven goals last year and we questioned does he have the finishing of a striker? Well he might just do. The centre back looking for a switch of play towards Simeon Jackson over Jackson's head, but does find the left-back Vaz. Out to Jackson again, Edwino Vaz with the cross in the area, flicked into the far corner. A well-worked goal, finished off beautifully by Charlie Ruff. Aaron Sibia to Ochi Yang, out to Blackwell. Blackwell looking to run at Joe Newton, inside then out, still going Blackwell to the edge of the area, tries the driven shot, and it just Never really got his foot round the ball enough to trouble Ross Warner. And, and now Simeon Jackson's got on the end of a poor clearance. Jackson looking for the reverse ball in the area. Comes off Nemhard's arm. Penalty, Chelmsford City. Simeon Jackson has planted the ball down on the spot. It's Jackson versus Warner. Jackson steps up. Warner goes the right way, but doesn't have enough on the dive. And Jackson finds the bottom left-hand corner. A very raspy voice to Matt Drabble and Adam Nixon here on the call on Hawks Radio. Chelmsford 3-2 up. Simeon Jackson from the penalty spot, his fourth of the season. Here's Benny Reid, the substitute. Oh, sorry, Josh Pass, the substitute on the right-hand side to Jake McCarthy. Hammered off the bar and in. He's done it again. He simply cannot stop scoring worldies. Josh Pasley whipping the ball in from the right-hand side. Jake McCarthy runs onto it and hits it on the half volley off the underside of the bar and in. And the Hawks are level again. Billy Clifford, about 15 yards from the left edge of the penalty area to whip one in from the touchline. Clifford towards the back post. Good looking error, headed back across goal and almost into his own net by Winfield. Well, Winfield got a fantastic contact on it, but it went the wrong direction. 
And I thought for one moment that Dave Winfield had just buried a bullet header in his own net. <laughs> Instead, it will just be a Havant and Waterlooville corner kick from the left-hand side. Billy Clifford to take. That didn't miss by much. Clifford to come in towards the near post. Pryor's header into the back of the net. Jason Pryor back from suspension and back in the gold. Flicked on at the near post into the roof of the net. And Havant and Waterlooville, arguably against the run of play, have found a goal here with about five minutes left to play at Chelmsford. Given away by Chelmsford. Billy Clifford thinks he's tripped. Referee disagrees. Ochi Yang out to Kale Da Costa. Da Costa's going to try and take on Jason Pryor. Across the near post. Spilled by Warner. Loose in front of goal and eventually fired away by Jason Pryor. To right to his right. Tries to thread himself between two defenders. Perhaps not the right decision. But Chelmsford can't clear their lines right now. And Billy Clifford's back on it. Clifford tries to shot himself. Curled towards Marston's goal. And Marston stretches out his arms and plucks it out the sky. Roberts is going to hold it up. He's a personal trainer. He might need some of that there as he tries to shrug off two Chelmsford City defenders. And that will do it here in Essex. It wasn't always pretty, but it will end in three points. And the Hawks' unbeaten run at the top of the National League South table continues. This sets up a winner-takes-first-place tie against Ebbsfleet next week.